Loretta's Gift, written by Pat Zietlow Miller, illustrated by Leah Marley. Loretta was skipping rope when she heard the news. Aunt Esme and Uncle Jax were expecting a baby. There was laughter and tears and hugging and cheers. Babies, said Loretta's mother, are a celebration. Of what, Loretta wondered. Of life, of hope, of love, said her father. Loretta looked at Aunt Esme's baby, belly. Could it hold all that and a baby? Before long, Loretta's world was buzzing with love. There were, it seemed, lots of ways to celebrate a baby. Loretta's mother knit fuzzy hats. Loretta's father bought piles of diapers. Uncle Jack's built a cradle. And Aunt Esme filled the nursery with family photos. There was even a party with presents stacked higher than Loretta's head. But no gifts from Loretta. What can I give the baby? She asked. Nothing, sweetie, said her mother. No one expects you to give a gift. Loretta frowned. That didn't seem right. She wanted to celebrate too. So she skipped rope and thought. She could buy something, but her penny collection wasn't enough. She could share something, but her jump rope wasn't bright and shiny. She could make something, but after hours of work, the only thing she'd made was a mess. Before Loretta knew it, Aunt Esme and Uncle Jax were home with baby Gabe. He wore fuzzy hats and soft diapers and slept in his very own cradle. There was laughter and tears and hugging and cheers, not to mention more gifts. Loretta stared at Gabe. He had the curliest hair and the tiniest toes. You are the best baby on the block, she whispered. He's the stinkiest for sure, said Uncle Jax. Could you find a diaper? Loretta could. As Gabe grew, Loretta organized his hats, tickled his toes, fed him mashed bananas, and rocked him until he slept. Soon, Gabe smiled whenever he saw Loretta. Loretta always smiled back and asked, who's the best baby on the block? But she never stopped searching for the perfect gift. Before Loretta knew it, Gabe's first birthday arrived. Aunt Esme greeted guests, Uncle Jack served cake, and Loretta's parents poured fuzzy drinks. Loretta watched everyone laugh, hug, and add presents to the pile. Still, as the pile got taller, Loretta felt smaller and smaller and smaller. Why couldn't she find a gift for Gabe? While everyone celebrated, Gabe pulled himself to his feet and took his first shaky steps. Everyone cheered until Gabe tumbled into the pile of presents. He wailed. Loretta sailed to his side. She adjusted his hat, which had slipped over one eye, rocked him in her arms until he stopped sobbing, and tickled his toes until his sniffles subsided. Gabe wasn't crying anymore, but he wasn't smiling either. That didn't seem right. So Loretta grabbed a bow, stuck it on her head, and asked, Who's the best baby on the block? Gabe giggled, and everyone else joined in. Well, Loretta, said Aunt Esme, I think you're the best gift Gabe ever got. Loretta paused. Was that true? She remembered the laughter, the tears, the hugging and the cheers, and all those mashed bananas. She knew her love was better than anything that came in a box, and Gabe would never outgrow it, no matter how many birthdays he had. Then Loretta laughed loudest of all, because suddenly everyone was exactly right, and the best baby on the block thought so too.